Well, what's important to see is the context that uh, there have been several companies who've been cutting jobs in the United States. It's um, expected that about 500,000 jobs have been lost since October last year. But moving on to another story, football is coming home to Manipur as the state hosts its first ever international tournament, a tri-nation contest between India, Myanmar and Kyrgyz Republic. This is a big occasion for a state that has contributed the highest number of players in the Indian team. My colleague Afrita spoke to Indian footballing legend Baichung Bhutia on what this means for the state. Manipur hosting an international tournament, a tri-nation tournament. India has already won the first match at the Khumam Lampak Main Stadium in Imphal. The Blue Tigers will face uh, Kyrgyzstan at the same venue on the 28th of March. What I want to ask you, Bai Chung, is that Northeast scarred by militancy for the longest time. Today, it's getting a fresh reputation of being a sporting destination, of being a football hub. As somebody who comes from the region, how do you feel about this? Very, very proud. In fact, I would like to congratulate Mr. Biren Singh, the CEO of Manipur for coming forward and hosting this tournament. I think it's a newly elected government in Manipur. So uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, the Manipur government. Uh, at the same time, I think, yes, All India Football Federation is also contributed to it. But um, I think we somehow in the Northeast uh, are not slightly a uh, little happy with the All India Football Federation because you've seen Northeast has produced players after players uh, for the Indian national team. But I think that kind of support from the federation is still not come to Northeast. We don't have even a single academy of federation here. We still don't have a uh, football excellence center in Northeast. So I think federation now, uh, after this, uh, you know, you saw a great crowd come in to support the national team. Uh, I think Northeast has gone through a lot of problems in the past with insurgency, as you mentioned. So I think it's time that federation would now come forward and start doing some kind of infrastructure and youth development programs in Northeast. All the players that have come from Northeast is either through the local clubs or through their own village programs or, by, or through their own individual efforts. So we need mm -hmm. some kind of uh, effort from the Football Federation to come in. That's an important point you're making. And you've been a torchbearer in this regard. You've taken up issues uh, at multiple platforms. Right now, do you consider this a big leap of faith? Despite all hurdles, all constraints, the fact that Manipur in a way, shall I say, has been put in the world map. There are many in India who don't know where Manipur is and today the world has been forced to sit up and take notice. The state has hosted an international tournament with whatever lim limited infrastructure that it has. But like you said, the federation needs to do more. Uh, these are big strides nevertheless, isn't it, Baichu? Definitely, yes. I think it's a big, big uh, you know, boost for football, northeast football. Plus, also Indian team coming and playing in Northeast, um, and also, you know, our uh, the CM in Manipur, uh, Biren Singh himself is an ex-footballer. So I think that's a great combination as well. And I hope um, you know more uh, football tournaments, especially with the national team, is hosted in Manipur, uh, and not in Manipur, but other parts of Northeast state as well. Because I think uh, there is a huge interest in football in Northeast. There's only one sport that is played. So we produce a lot of Olympians in other sports as well, but football is still the number one in, in Northeast. Yes. So I think uh, I think Manipur is set the example and hopefully other states like Meghalaya, Mizoram mm. is another big footballing state. Then you've got, uh, you've got Sikkim, Tripura and Assam obviously is a big, big state. So mm. hopefully other states would also come forward and start hosting these big tournaments in right. future. Right, absolutely. Let's hope this is a good beginning. Uh, the team composition, as you also mentioned, six to seven players in the Indian team from Manipur alone. Yet, uh, you know, uh, the Indian team has in fact benefited the most from talents from the Northeast, like yourself. I mean, there is no denying, isn't it? And when you play international, Mr. Bhutia, it's not Sikkim or Manipur or Mizoram. It's you play as India, right? So how do you get the other states to follow suit? You said that there, there must be an energy generated with this. The other states must come forward as well, because like I said, the team needs players from all the different parts as well. 
Definitely, yes, because uh, I think as you mentioned earlier as well, you know, the, the kind of problems the Northeast had gone through over, over the years and also a lot of people who, uh, now I'm sure many people would know where Manipur is or Sikkim is, but I think still there was a lot of gap in that and I think it's the sports person from Northeast is really integrated Northeast in into, into India in, in a, such a big way. And it's very important that we've got icons and sports stars, uh, you know, representing India. So I think it helps the nation, uh, entire nation to connect, and especially Northeast to, you know, uh, feel more proud about it. And I think that really brings in, it uh, also helps to integrate uh, uh, India as, as one great uh, country. So I think this, this definitely is going to help, uh, you know, uh, especially the Northeastern to feel that, uh, you know, which we've right. been lacking big time with a lot of issues around, that we all should feel proud that we're Indians and a uh, lot of Northeasterns have contributed to, uh, just not in sports, but other field as well, uh, yes. in terms of uh, India as a country to grow. Yes, the sporting fraternity from Northeast uh, has brought us laurels. Uh, the women boxers have made us proud. Again, today we are reporting about two of our women boxers who are sure now to get uh, at least silver medal in the World Boxing Championship. Uh, again, in the boxing arena as well, so many women from the Northeast, uh, from Manipur again. But I want to ask you, before I let you go, the question that must be asked uh, of you a number of times, when will we have a football team that is ready to go to the Football World Cup? Uh, as I said, you know, uh, for us, hosting an uh, international tournament in Northeast is a great step going forward. Yes. But we need to invest in grassroots. And that is where I think, uh, you know, the Federation will have to do much more uh, in providing and supporting the local football association, the state football association, by helping them to grow, uh, you know, good, sending them good coaches, uh, training those coaches in the regions, uh, starting a football academy or a sports excellence centers here in Northeast. Not just, not just in Northeast, but the rest of the country as well. But yes, Northeast has been one of the main football hub and where you've seen a lot of players that, that has been produced. So until right. and unless we don't really invest in grassroots and produce more quality players, uh, then it becomes very, very difficult if you don't have good players. They are the ones who will take India to the World Cup. Yes. So once we start doing that seriously, I think we've got a good chance of getting to World Cup very, very uh, in the next right. know, 10, to 12, 10 to 15 years. Right. It, it's it's a long process. It uh, it takes a long-term plan to nurture talent at the grassroots. Bhai Chumbhutia, thank you so much for joining us here on the program, for sharing your thoughts. We decided to put the spotlight on the Northeast to celebrate this moment where a small state in India's Northeast is today hosting a tri-nation tournament. Bhai Chumbhutia, thanks and appreciate your joining us this evening. Thank you very much.